Austin Joe McCarthy. And thanks for my segue. The setup for the segue. Yeah, he says this is going to be controversial, not too controversial, man, because you, see, you say one pacing is in, infinitely better than UFC, and I have to agree. I mean, I it's to. not even an argument, right? Whoa, look at the transition. Look at that. <laughs> All right. So now it's time. We're going to cover one fight night, 12 coming through. Dude, uh, what a fun event. And I know for the longest time, Will, your boy here refused to watch one fight. I We, we talk about this on a regular basis, uh, but I, I'm giving in, man. How can you I'm not, man? It's, I know. If you like good fights, you like one. You have to like one. Yeah, HW Comer says, I wonder if Will is a one fan. I know, What's right? Up? Look at it. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> the but we had a... Fucking Rich is on it today, bro. <laughs> he is, dude. He is. I don't know what he ate this morning, but I like it. All right. Yeah. We had Superlet versus Catalog. Dude. Okay. So going into this, you know, Superlet's going to win this fight. It's, he's just so good, you know. Um, but Catalog is legit. I really like the guy. He puts on fun fights. We saw him got a, get a KO over in uh, the Philippines. Um, dude, Superlek <laughs> did not care. Did not care. What is it? HB Comer says one more logo and you become a NASCAR racer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you switching the hat? He is. He's going to go one. Oh, my God. What is – look at this guy. Fuck it, dude. <laughs> go all out. Why not? Go Let's all go out. fucking all out, huh? He's got the That's one the lanyard too. What 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 else are you throwing on over there? Do you have one sunglasses or something? Let's get the fucking wristband. The on one now. wristband. Oh my <laughs> god! You imagine this guy? <laughs> hey, leave it on, dude. It's already on. Leave anyway, it on. Dude. Fuck it. Well. Yeah, just leave it on. Uh, but hey, super like, I continue being impressed. I know that everybody that's watched one, or or Muay Thai or kickboxing for a long time. Yeah, they already know about super like. For somebody like me, this is probably my fourth or fifth time watching him fight, and every single mm-hmm. time. I'm more impressed with this guy. I understand uh, the legend of Superlek. Uh, and for me, those deadly elbows and the different angles Ooh. that he that he has on the elbows, the giant step in with the elbow. He'll, he'll come in 12-6. He'll go 6-12. Uh, Dude, and then he must me, have made the read, huh? That, yeah, that, that's, you think? Yeah, like coming into this fight. <laughs> what did it, though, where I was just like, this guy is next level. He, mm-hmm. like, jumps and fakes the left uh, kick to the body. Yeah. Very next one, jump, fakes the, the right kick to the leg, and then he follows it up with, it like, a flying elbow. And I was yeah, like, this guy's superhuman. Dude, if, if Superleg was in the UFC, he'd be a superstar in the United States. People don't fight like this in the UFC. Like, I mean, just the entire fight, he's just sprinting at Kalov. Kalov just cannot get set. He's trying to get. He's trying to throw stuff back to get the respect, and and Super Lake's literally, like you said, just leaping at him, throwing fucking hatchets at him with his elbows. I mean, it was incredible. And yeah, Rich, we have a we have a video. So if Rich wants to play, because because one also lets us play video on our podcast. Hey, shout um, out one. Yeah, so here we go. This is from the fight. I think this is the knockdown oh, and, uh, and the, the finish. Yeah, I got pretty loud. Huh? And the crowd is amazing. Yeah. I mean, God, yes, look at that elbow. elbow in the clinch. And coming out of the clinch, look, leading with the elbow. Yeah, and that's the big one. Good, good stop. Good yeah, stop. I, there were some people who were like, it, it's a little bit too much of an early stoppage. But in my opinion, it seemed like Kalilov was like, that, that last elbow, he kind of just like turned a little bit. And like, that's, we, we can't have that. You know, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, you see it again. Yeah, he just kind of. Just shells up, puts the knee up, like just saying, just please don't hurt me right now. Backing yeah. up. Uh, at least he didn't turn and run, though. I'll give him that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. In the That's UFC main of, or main card, we had someone literally run across the cage away from somebody. I mean, look at that. That's a really good way to break the high guard. Well, yeah, you know, just exactly. Just step in right? straight up the middle with that elbow. Yeah, I mean, he, he just chopped him up with the elbows. It was incredible. It was just yeah. such a good performance. And, and a lot let's of not forget, he just fought like two weeks ago. God, it's crazy, right? But he when just, you uh, when you finish Nabil. when you have fights like this and you don't take that much damage, uh, yeah. Every two weeks, put Dude, me on. Every two weeks, bro, give me a fifty k bonus. I don't mind. Fight Haggerty now, come on. Oh my God, what a fight! Come on, Haggerty versus Superlet. Haggerty, let's, let's do go. it. Sign me up. Yeah. Take my money. 
or not because money. It's on Prime. It's no, already paid for. Prime, so. yeah. yeah, I love it. All right. Uh, what's the next one we're gonna cover? I believe it was uh, Tonin. Versus yeah, Gasanov. Gary Tonin versus Gasanov, dude. And what a good matchup! The matchmaking on this fight is incredible because Gasanov at this point undefeated, right? Thirteen and zero. Uh, very good grappling. Um, mm-hmm. And Gary Tonin, obviously, it speaks from like if you don't know who Gary Tonin is, like if you do know who he is, you know he's like a wizard on the ground. So going into this, I was like, man, we're gonna see some very fun ground fighting. Um, and sometimes you see like these wrestlers almost nullify uh, jujitsu people, like players off their back, right? Um, and I was like, is he gonna be able to stifle Gary Tonin on the ground? Because like if he can, that's like insanely impressive. Um, and he almost did. It looked like he was going to, um, because immediately Gary Tonin throws some punches to set up a takedown. Gasanov's like, nope, get someone like a like a like a front headlock position, right? Almost like a sprawl position. Mm-hmm. And immediately, because it's one, he starts blasting him in the face with knees, and, which I love. Yeah, I mean, how could you? It not? creates that's, urgency. Exact, and that's exactly what happened. Like, so Tonin ends up having to try to like roll to his hip. To try to like pull guard almost uh, to do something, um, and and Gasnov's just blasting him with knees to the face, to the forehead, um, and uh, Blunderbuff says Tonin had to buy the win with with several nasty knees. Yeah. So, what was very impressive to me was he's getting lit up with these knees in that front headlock position, um, which actually, Rich, we do have a clip for that. Also, it should be the first Tonin clip. Um, so look at these knees. Tell me you don't want this in, in fighting. Oh, big knee right there as soon as he goes down. Yeah. Another knee. And Tonin's wow. trying. He's trying to get away, right? Yep. And, like, he, he just can't. Here comes another one. Bam. Oh, massive knee. I think that's the one that everybody heard. Yeah. When he just slapped his forehead. I mean, look at him swinging his leg back to, to throw that knee. Then he's missing in the right knee and the left knee. So it makes it hard oh for Tonin God. to know which, which uh, arm to use. And I think, yeah. again, because in this position, in the UFC, these fighters get yeah. out of this rather quickly. They get back up, right? In mm-hmm. this case, because you're throwing the left knee, the right knee, now Tonin is worried about, like, okay, do I just shield with my left or do I try to, like, block with my right because I don't know exactly when he's coming. So yeah. that's another reason why he's in that position a little bit longer than you're, we're, we're used to seeing because he's yeah. trying to figure out how do I avoid these massive <laughs> knees coming straight to my head, right? So it, it's yeah. good stuff, man. And, and I thought, And I thought, like, okay – uh, this might be it, right? Because you can't just keep eating those. And eventually, Gary did this. It was so smooth where he kind of got to the to the ropes and he almost sat like he was going to pull guard from that position. Mm-hmm. Um, but then instead hit the switch, he had that far side uh, underhook uh, with his left hand and it allowed him to spin and then end up taking Gasnov's back. And I was like, mm-hmm. how do you go that from just beautiful. getting blasted with knees to taking his back? It's just so beautiful to watch. And then he kind of just controlled him for the rest of that round. And talk um, about the momentum changing, you know, because yeah. for me, that was it. Right in there, we hit hit that little switch, he rolls back, takes his back, and mm-hmm. it just happened like that, where you're gassing off, you have him in that front headlock position, you're landing these massive yeah. knees, and you feel like, I'm in control of I this fight. I might finish this right now. <laughs> I'm in control of this fight, and then all of a sudden, you're like, shit, he just took my back. Gary Tonin has my back right now. <laughs> yeah. And Gasnov did a good job, right, where he stood up um, and he went over to the turnbuckle and just used the turnbuckle in the corner to just kind of scrape Tonin off. Um, but he pretty much finished the round safely uh, and not eating all those knees. And then they got to the mm-hmm. second round. Um, and Tonin immediately starts flying at him with kicks, lands a big straight right, and then immediately shoots on him. They, they go down, they get back up. And then Gasnov has him in the corner, I think, uh, over under. Um, and Tonin just dives on the leg. And Tonin, we've seen him get finished from going for leg locks. Tan Lee knocked him out, right, for when he fought for the belt. Um, but he rolls into it, and Gasnov just kind of doesn't care. And he's like, he's not on it. I'm good here. And To the point where the ref calls catch, right, yeah, because he's it's signaling submission. to the judges, like, hey, he has a submission in. locked in, a submission attempt locked in. And yeah. Gasanov looks and he goes, I'm okay, brother. I'm okay. Yeah. And then Rich Franklin says, yeah, but he's not in danger because he's not. He's off center on the, on the leg. And immediately after that, you hear Gasanov screaming in pain. 
<laughs> and uh, yeah, my blunder, but my favorite part of this match was Rich Franklin convincing everyone Gary didn't have the knee bar <laughs> right before he taps. <laughs> he even can convince Gasnov. Yeah, he probably Gasnoff like, he, he probably heard him. <laughs> yeah, and Rich, actually, we have a, another video of that moment. Uh, with audio, the audio is great for this one. Is that Did good? he say I'm very good? Yeah. <laughs> and then scream. Oh my god. Oh, Can we play that man. again real quick, Rich? Yeah, Solomon calls Cash. It's okay, brother. I'm good. I'm very good. And then... Oh my god. Dude. Just seconds later. Yeah. <laughs> Brutal. Okay, okay. Okay, Rich. <laughs> Just come on. <laughs> oh, yeah, my God. Fantastic win by Gary Tonin. That's, that's Gasnov's first loss. That was very impressive. And he and he had to yeah. go through adversity to get there, man. He ate some massive yeah. knees in that first round. Uh, sure. Austin and says – that, that's ahead. from that, – that's just good, right? We've seen so many cases. If you're ever going to go all in on the leg lock, it's when you're in that position. Okay? Exactly, because you can't get smashed. Your, your opponent can't really reach over. You can't get smashed. They're the ones that are just trying to figure out how do I get out of this, right? Yeah. But like you said, we've seen plenty of times where your opponent's standing, you're curled under, trying to hook the leg lock, and you just have bombs raining down on you. Yeah, Macy uh, Barber just uh, did it, right? Yeah, such a good job by Tonin last night. Yeah, yeah. And Austin says uh, the ground and knees are easily the best rule difference in one. The way they judge their fights is better too, though, and honestly should be the standard. I agree. Um, let's see. My mom says things can change on a dime. Uh, Austin says, yeah. also, this is the dumbest gamble ever. It's like standing in front of prime Mike Tyson while he throws bombs, just chilling. Yeah. So you, you, can't, you can't go, you got to be somewhere in the middle, right? Um, because if you freak out when they're on a leg, you're going to make a mistake and they'll capitalize on it. Um, if you sit there and just you're calm, they're going to continue to work until they get it. You have to find some middle ground to escape because if you can't not, you can't just sit there and be like I'm good right now because it's Gary Tonin, John Danaher is in his corner for this fight. Yep. Like he will inch his way until he has the submission if you let him. So like, and you know what? It's it's so sweet too when you think about it because he took the revenge out on those knees that were landing right on his forehead. Takes man. his knee, yeah. How the turns have tabled, he said, and he just oh, grabbed that knee. Have time. Yeah, <laughs> and just made him scream off those exact same knees that he was landing. That's awesome, man. Yeah, uh, HLB Comer is asking what's up with his hair. Yeah, he's got alopecia. Um, you can see it even in his beard now. He looks like it looks like my beard. Uh, HLB Comer says this is also uh, Fifty Shades of MMA episode. Yeah, seriously. Uh, there's some uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's some pain involved in this episode. <laughs> oh man. All right. Uh, but yeah, very good uh, win for Gary Tonin. Very good win. Uh, do you want to move on to the next one? I think the next one's going to be pretty quick. Next one will be quick. Ali Akbari versus uh, Jointon. Jointon. So, dude. Uh, so you see the uh, the weigh in picture, and at this point, you know, okay, Ali Akbari is just going to go and run right to him because he gives him that little pat <laughs> on the shoulder, like it's going to be okay, buddy. You know what I mean? Like it'll all be over soon. I'll and, make this quick. Don't worry. Yeah, and Jointon, by the way. Misspelling his own last name? It's Johnson, bro. Okay, so we knew you were going to lose right away. Nobody spells yeah, it yeah. Johnson. So Nobody spells it you're going to lose. All right. Yeah, uh, Ali Akbar going into this, I was like, man, there's there's literally not – Dustin's got no chance. He's got no chance here. Ali Akbar is a fantastic wrestler who cracks. And we actually watched this one together, right? Where, uh, uh, I mean, he's just swinging hard. And, yeah, Tosi says his manicure was longer than the fight. Yeah, as they're checking him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one does the due diligence. You got Olivier Cost over there cl clipping his fingernails before the fight starts. Yeah, uh, true. But uh, yeah, they go in there and immediately Ali Akbar is just walking him down and just throwing massive punches. We were watching it together. And we were just like, oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Every time he threw a punch. Look at how scary Ali Akbar looks, uh, a.k.a. Yeah. Zangi from Street Fighter. Yeah. I mean, come on, dude. Yeah. Look at him just throwing those bombs. And every time that any one of those bombs landed, Joinson would react yeah. so much, man. And to the point cover where like, up right after. <laughs> he'd like glitch a little bit. Like, yeah. Almost surprised that it was like, oh, that hurt more than I thought it would. And, yeah. it, and then he'd try to reset it, and Ali Akbari would just throw another bomb and he'd be like, oh my God, every single time. Yeah. And then Ali Akbari takes him down, right? And uh, gets him in that crucifix position. And at that point, it was like, dude, Crucifix is already really hard to get out of. And this guy's like, yeah. 
a top level wrestler, you're not going to get him off of you. And then he just starts pounding him out and eventually gets him to tap due to strikes. Uh, and we have a video of this as well, Rich. If you're uh, again, oh, shout out one for allowing us to do this. I love it. Yeah, the shot after shot. Look at that. Oh, and the tapping, the tapping. Yeah. You have to. What are you gonna do there? Yeah. And you know, so when when I see this, it reminds me of Roy Nelson versus Kimbo Slice. Do you remember where you got him in that crucifix? Oh yeah. The only difference yeah. is that Roy Nelson was tapping Kimbo Slice's forehead and telling the ref, "Look, he's not trying to get out of it, and I'm just landing shot after shot. Stop it." The difference yeah. is Ali Akbari was trying to smash his freaking face through the canvas. Yeah, it was and he, big shots. It, it was big shots. and uh, Got to get that 50K, you know? 50K, baby. There you go. We got it. Earned it. Earned it. Yeah. Austin says, this is honestly the best Ali Akbari's looked for me. If he'd wrestled like this in the first Malakin fight, he may have had a chance. Mm. I honestly, I, I don't know, man, because Malakin, people forget Malakin's a wrestler first as well. Like, his takedown defense is next level, but... I do really want to see uh, the rematch. They, they fought before and, and Malikin knocked him out. Um, but, and this is rare for one. They had Malikin there because Malikin's cornering like three different guys this, on this card. Uh, Ali Akbari calls him out. They bring him over. They get into a scuffle. And we got to play it because Mitch Chilson is amazing in this video when they get into the scuffle. This video is so funny, especially Mitch at the end. All right. He's like, he's just stuck in between oh. them, dude. <laughs> hey, listen, listen, hey. listen. Hold on, listen to him. It's okay. Your time will come. I'm sure that's a match that will be made in the future. It's okay. Future. Your time will your come. Your time will come. <laughs> hey, so props for him, dude. He threw himself right in the fire. Yeah, he did. Look at, look at how I, happy I, he is, dude. I <laughs> hope Trashy was like, hey, Mitch. Here's 50k, bro. Here's 50k for you. That earned a bonus. Yeah. <laughs> that earned a bonus. That was so good. It really was. Yeah, it was, that, that was great, dude. I love Malikin, dude. Amir Ali Bari also is awesome. Uh, like, I, I don't know. Malikin's saying that he wants to go down and fight RDR for his belt now at middleweight. That's cool and all. It would be really cool to see him um, have three belts. But give me Ali Bari versus Malikin. Give me the rematch. <laughs> was that nervous <laughs> laughter <laughs> oh man it might have been dude, it might have been dude those, those guys are two big are boys huge yeah especially when Mitch gets to the middle you realize just how big they are yeah uh, uh dude awesome though it was, it was good was stuff. stuff it was probably the most exciting part of that fight <laughs> yeah Get uh blunderbub said someone in the in the chat said give the iranian translator a bonus too yeah he was great one always has really good <laughs> translators too hey they shout hide, out dl guy. Shout out to you. Thanks for joining us again. Yeah. All right. Uh, we have a few more fights. I think two more fights to cover, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. So uh, Yuya Wakamatsu versus uh, Shia Wei. Mm -hmm. Dude, and this one, they got right after it. As soon as the fight oh, started. Oh, right away. Yeah. Right away. Both of them super aggressive, man. Uh, right. Now, elbows. We're talking about elbows earlier. Like, we had Alec Bari that was just landing those bombs, right? Those, those punches. Mm -hmm. We had another situation here. Where it's a tough uh, position for uh, Way, right? Yeah. You have Wakamatsu just landing elbow after. Did you count them? No, but I mean, I mean, how, how can you? Uh, DL says two pit bulls. Wow, dude. So Way has him in on the ropes, right? He throws a high knee, and Wakamatsu just grabs it, and he's like, "We're going down now." Puts him to side control, and then just immediately just starts uncorking these elbows on him, and just doesn't stop. And Wade tries to get up, and as he's trying to lean up, he's like, oh, also, check this out. Bam. Eats him with a knee. <laughs> Hit him, like, three knees, and then goes back to the elbows. Uh, and just, I mean, didn't give him a chance. Eventually ends up in full mount and starts throwing just, like, standard ground and pound right. But, I mean, how many strikes did he land within, like, those 30 seconds? It was incredible. It, dude, so it nice. had to have been probably 30 elbows. Yeah. Because it was nonstop, nonstop. And the thing is, the the ref doesn't stop it right away because way is still kind of trying to he's, he's gain better position. Yeah. He's working, trying to work out of it. Uh, so the entire time he's working though, it's elbow, 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 punch, elbow. Yeah. Uh, it is over Knees. and over again. And <laughs> finally uh, the ref's like, all right, I think, I think he has enough. He's had. Yeah. Enough. Yeah. Uh, Austin says, uh, I love ways ba uh, Shallon background. I was rooting for him, but knew he likely uh, or wasn't likely going to win this. Ground guys have been his weakness. Yeah. 
uh, Blunderbub says this was uh, the match where that guy in the in the chat was screaming about Pride and Rising too. Yeah, that dude is interesting, man. Uh, <laughs> but, but yeah, we have a, a video of this, uh, Rich. If we don't play, let's not let's skip this one, uh, and we'll go to the because they were in the corner when it happened. There was a video that they posted uh, from the corner, and this is insane. Okay. So this is when uh, Wakamatsu takes him down? Yeah, catches the knee, takes him down immediately. Just elbows, elbows, massive elbows. elbows. Uh, I mean, just... And then right here. Okay, maybe could have been stopped there. Could have stopped it there probably, right? Uh, these yeah. are pretty bad. Uh, and and then, then right here, okay, fighting for position. Trying to get better knees position. Knees there, a knee. couple knees. Oh. <laughs> More elbows. Uh, Way's working, right? Gets posted. Yep. But elbows. not enough. Point. Now he's in elbows. mount and he just... Starts punching. I mean, God. Yeah, the ref gave him every opportunity in the world, man. Every opportunity May in the world. Maybe too many opportunities, but... Tosi says 37 Th elbows. 37, <laughs> at least. At least. At least, at least yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, okay. unfortunately, Wakamatsu missed weight for this one, so they he did just not counted. get a bonus. <laughs> yeah, I just counted. <laughs> what's, <laughs> what's, what's crazy is... Um, and I do like this is because one gives so many bonuses, right? They, they, it's constant. Any, basically, any good fight, you're going to get a bonus. You're going to get 50 grand. Mm -hmm. um, and they tell him while they're in the ring still in the post-fight interview. And in this one, he missed weight. And they tell him, just so you know, you would have won a bonus here, but you missed weight, so we can't. And it's like, yeah. dude, if that's not an incentive to, to make weight your next fight, I mean... That's yeah. to just do it right then and there and be like, hey, uh, you just lost 50 grand because you missed weight. Like that's that's an incentive right there. And you For can sure. tell he just wanted out, man. They're trying to interview him and he's just like, Can I just go, dude? Like Yeah. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> but it man. is what it is. Make weight, you know. All right. Last we got the fight. last one here. Yeah. Last fight. And I believe we are covering Fernandez versus uh Pichija. Pichija. Yeah. Oh, Did I pronounce that correctly? Man. Yeah. Oh, nice. And that's that's uh this is what <clears throat> how do you pronounce it? Remember I told name? you this Lugiaporong Tong. Lugia Porong Tong. Nailed okay. it. Let's go with that. All right. <laughs> Nailed <laughs> let's, it. Let's go with that. Uh Lara, I watched uh I watched Lara's last fight uh live over in the Philippines. Um she got a Ooh. decision win. Uh but dude, Fajija is uh, Tony says we're not covering the 12 to 6 dick, dick punch. We, I mean, we're already an hour and five minutes in, and we can't, but yeah, if you go back and watch the uh Walter fight, who, who was he fighting? Um, why can't I find it because I'm looking at the wrong fucking Banma Yoji thing? Yeah, dude, Banma, they're in, <laughs> he's got him stacked in guard and just fucking as as Walter's trying to throw these up kicks, he just bam. <laughs> I punched my mic just like he punched him right in the dick. <laughs> Dude, it was brutal. And Herb Dean's like, oh, hold on, hold on. And they he thought he stopped the fight, and he runs over. He's celebrating on the ropes. And <laughs> Goncalves is just on the ground holding his nuts. And they're like, I did not call the fight off. Like, <laughs> that was just a straight dick punch. It was bad. That's like UFC 1 type stuff, you know what I mean? Just go straight for the dick Joe punch. Son. Shout out Joe yeah, Son. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, Pejija... Dude, she started fighting uh, again when she was like 10 years old or something like that. Uh, her dad started started a gym because uh, no other gyms would take her, right? So they started their own gym. She has to start by just fighting dudes. She's only fighting boys. Yeah. Um, I forgot what her original nickname is, but it was something like the, like the, the lady who, who uh, fights men or something like that. It was sick. Uh, and now she's just the queen. But um, like... She, I think, within her first seventy fights, her first seven or first one hundred wins, like seventy of those wins were against men. I'm pretty sure. Mm. Um, like Jesus. she's just a savage, dude. So like, this is her first fight on a prime card. Um, Look at the angle on this picture, too. I know. Yeah, it's so good. Uh, shout out Cyrus for for hooking it up with the media. But um, hey, Cyrus. But, dude, the going into this, I was like, Fernandez is very good, but it's it's another level type thing where. Uh, and immediately you see it. Pachicha hits her, and you could see Lara's like, oh, I don't think I've ever been hit like that. 
and immediately backs up into the corner. She hits her again and she's wobbled. And you can see her wobble her way back to the corner. And Pajija just bam, 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 bam. And she's snapping her head back with a couple of these punches. And eventually Lara just kind of turns away. And Olivia Cost is like, dude, cannot have that. <laughs> and yeah. calls the fight. But what was it, like 40 seconds? Something like that? Uh, 26 seconds, if I remember correctly. 26 me, seconds, it, man. It should actually tell us right over here. Somewhere. Oh, Tapology has that, huh? Yeah, 26 seconds. Round one of three. Um, so you have Fernandez that's complaining afterwards. And look, I'm going to be honest. Fernandez didn't look too out of it when she was complaining to Olivier Cost. But yeah. you also did not respond to yeah. any of the shots being thrown your way, which in my end shows and, that you don't have an answer. You don't want to be there. And turning turning away into the corner is is not fighting back, right? That's not defending yourself. Um, so yeah, it was it was quick, but uh, but yeah, I mean, yeah, you have to. She wasn't oh, out. Was that out, the fastest but woman's KO in one? Shout out Blunderbub. I did not realize that. Fantastic Dude, one knowledge. Ad, women's Adam weight Muay Thai, man. Come on, good. Give me more good. of that. Uh, but yeah, we have a clip of this uh, of of the finish here from Pachuja. You can see her cracker here. I think it was a right hand. Yeah, right there. Yeah, there's a right. Little wobbly. Go straight back. Arms up in the air. Bam. And then she just starts raining just shots. Just teeing off on her. And then as soon as she turns away like that, she's leaning yeah. outside the ropes. you got to call it. Yeah. Uh, do we have another one that was like um, similar to the uh, the Yuya fight where it was like a corner or like a crowd video or like ringside video, I think, Rich? Yeah. There it is. How sick is this video, huh? Oh, good angle. Good angle. Yeah, as soon as she landed that first Man. right, and you saw her kind of sh her legs shake a little bit. Yeah, it was like, and oh, her no. arms go up like not in full guard, but they kind of go up to the side, and she like goes yeah. back like saying like, "Hey, hey, hey, take it easy, huh?" Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> hey, man, we're just getting started. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> calm down, calm down. Yeah, yeah what a finish by uh, Petija. Yeah, I'm very excited to see uh, more from her, dude. It's like, yeah, just keep her coming, you know, because she's so good, like really, really good. But I think, I think that's, that's all we're it. gonna cover, huh? That I think that's it. Yeah. Uh, Austin, Austin says one's uh, Adam Weight MMA division slaps to Angela Lee's my favorite fighter ever. Hope that whole family can come back strong after the loss. Yeah, it, it sounds like Angela's gonna retire. Yeah, that's lost. Unfortunately, thing but I mean, I, I don't, I don't blame her, you know. But man, she's done so much in women's MMA. Like, but yeah, Adam Weight division is really, really good for for just combat sports in general and. You know, everyone says like the UFC should open it, but like, who are they going to sign? They're already all signed, you know? We already got yeah. those divisions, they're just not in the UFC. Hey, everybody, Ramiro and Will here. Thank you so much for watching that short clip. It's just a small clip of what we covered this last Sunday. Yeah, if you want to check out the full fight card recap, uh, the link is in the description and it's going to be on screen at the end here. Uh, and don't forget to go back and watch our fighter interviews that we have. Uh, and don't forget to tune in live every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and you can join in on the fun. Yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It goes a long way. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching that short clip from Story of the Fight.